Well, here we are at Adobe Max 2010, and we've been talking about uh, different enterprise RAAs, to use the term loosely, or just fun RAA experiences in a business context. And we've got, we've got someone else who's going to walk us through one project that they worked on that definitely fits into that, that context. And you want to introduce yourself first? Sure. Uh, my name is Vlad Galashel. I'm with uh, Ensemble Systems, and I'm the VP of BizDev. And I essentially touch all of the projects that are ongoing on Ensemble and all of the relationships that we have with our partners like Adobe and our customers, whomever they might be. There's a project in the healthcare sector mm -hmm. for, for a hospital that you're working on. And can you can you kind of lay out what the need was that they had? Like, what, what were they trying to accomplish by engaging sure. with you so, guys? So, yeah, the need is more than just at the hospital level. So we're working with, um, with, with the, the national health system, basically, in the UK. Um, and the need is to... Uh, make the whole system more efficient and to deliver patient care in a more efficient way whereby access to the assets that belong to a patient as they're making their way in their lifetime through the medical system will live with that person all the way along. So if they see uh, a physician at you know a hospital you know X and then they go to hospital Y, um, there's a there's a consistency of the of the information available to all the different clinicians that are working with that patient to deliver on services. It's sort of like a portable file that's, it's, that's electronic. It, it is. It's more than just the mobile story. It's the whole system behind having the ability to have all of these what are normally papers, pieces of paper, be put into this system that then allows you know, mobile devices or workstations to access this information from a single source. I mean, it seems like traditionally and, and currently it's very challenging to get, uh, I think the phrasing is always doctors to stop using paper or whatever. And, and what, you know, in, in this case, how did, how did the, 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 the client and yourselves and other people who were working with, how did you get over that? You know, we're actually going to do this and, and electrify, digitize all so, this. So, yeah, interesting question. So, so first off, the, the work is being done in a very strong partnership between uh, ourselves, uh, Cognizant, and Adobe Consulting uh, in the UK. And it's being rolled out to some specific sites in the UK. Um, but I think we, we got involved with this particular customer that the first instance is being rolled out at and we just had such great buy-in right from the beginning because they're looking for this wow factor uh, and the way that that came out was particularly in showing them an iPad application. You walk into a room full of you know, hospital executives and you hand them all an iPad and you show them this application and they absolutely fall out of their chairs, basically, because it just changes the game. It changes the space that they think about, because everything is very much paper. Everything is file folders and clipboards and writing stuff down, and now you're imagining having a tablet-based device that you can do digital dictation, so you're doing your voice into your device, and that's being transcribed on the device. You can do video collaboration to talk with you know, a specialist at another hospital while you're seeing a patient in this hospital. Um, you can, you know, do stuff like dashboarding. I mean, there's all sorts of things now that as you're talking to um, these hospitals, it's just such a different way of thinking of how to solve the problem that it's just, it's led itself into them saying, you know what, let's go for this and we'll do it. It sounds like, and, and correct me if I'm wrong, but the way to appeal to that big change is not through functionality, but really just through engagement or even beautiful applications. So, so there's a couple of things, right? There's, we all talk about software, we all talk about engagement and all that stuff, but at the end of the day, it, it's a people thing. It, it's, you know, you're building these great usable experiences and fantastic looking things, but unless you're spending time with the people that are gonna use it, you can hit the mark. Sorry, you can miss the mark. Um, and with, with the environment that we're working in with this customer in the UK, we have great access to clinicians in the hospital that are working with us on requirements. The same way that, you know, Universal Mind will spend time in a call center and, you know, you know look at someone working in a cubicle and figuring out that they use these, you know, post-it notes and calculators and all that kind of stuff. It's the same kind of exercise you go through, but in this case, you're talking about being in an environment where there's there's literally lives around you that are at stake. I heard an interesting quote from someone who might 
will not name. Um, but basically, the ROI for an application like this is in a life saved. That's what the ROI is. And when you think about all these enterprise applications and RIAs and all this stuff that are being built, and you think about a dollar value that's attached to it, we do business in consulting. We do business where it's about you know return on investment in a dollar amount. But we're in this new paradigm where, well, you know, how many lives have you saved, right? And that's the ROI.